I think you have to do some research into going local, generally speaking, will help a lot. So if you're in the London area, you can mm-hmm. either target clients locally in London and then even go further, niche down even further. And let's say just do gyms in London. Not sure how big the market would be. I know London is a smaller city, but because it's a smaller city, you might have less competition. A stable income, stable niches immediately what comes to mind are things like lawyers, dentists, anything in the healthcare industry, therapists, gyms. Actually, I'm not even sure gyms are that stable now with COVID and everything and them having to move things online. Yeah. That, that kind of depends more on what their mm-hmm. online strategy is because a lot of gyms or trainers have moved to like Zoom classes and stuff are doing quite well. I bet there's a lot that aren't even going to bother opening up physical spaces again once this is all over because it's just so much more profitable to do it online. But yeah, lawyers, dentists, most things in the healthcare industry, therapists, doctors, I would say those are the most stable because those are the kind of people or industries we're always going to need. They don't really suffer the roller coaster ups and downs that many others do. Like restaurants is always going to be a risky niche. Restaurants come and go constantly. And frankly, restaurant website design is not nearly as crucial as it used to be because with stuff like Uber Eats and and Just Eat or Skip the Dishes and all this stuff where these restaurants just sign up to these other platforms, they don't even need their own branded uh, website. Really, you're only going after like high luxury restaurants, high-end restaurants. Those will be a little more stable, even though they can still go under just as much, but they generally will need their own website. Whereas like a lot of smaller restaurants, they're not even going to bother. They'll just sign up for skip the dishes, Uber eats, all this stuff and have the customers come directly to them through the platforms. Lawyers would definitely be stable. You'll end up dealing with some more challenges with lawyers because they're lawyers. So they're going to be oftentimes a little more nitpicky about the little details depending, but yeah, I mean, it's stable and they're good paying clients. So, but the the thing is in order to target a niche, you have to have, um, proof of work. You have to have a portfolio. So whatever Mm -hmm. niche you do decide on, you have to make sure you start building a few websites for either probably going to have to do them for really cheap or even for free, just to have something to show on, on your page, your landing page for that. I found early on that a lot of my small business clients ended up being consultants of some kind, usually like financial consultants. I don't know how that ended up that way. It just did. And it was taking off and I had enough of a a portfolio to have uh, a proof of work. So I I, I targeted that niche. I have a a dedicated landing page and niche of my business towards consultants specifically, and still does really well. So if you pick one niche in the beginning or two, it doesn't have to, you don't have to limit yourself to one, pick a couple, a few, and you focus all your energy on those. You build up enough of a client base that you start to naturally branch out to other niches because those clients that are happy, they'll inevitably talk to their friend or their uncle or their business partner and say, Hey, did my website, they, they did a great job. And then you'll start getting clients that just don't fit within those current niches that you're doing. And you'll start to expand out a little more. All of my business comes from SEO. All my leads come from searching for me. So that means I would, at this point, I'd say maybe 60, not even 60, probably only about half of my clients fit within one of those initial niches I was doing. And the other half are are just random, anything else outside of that niche. So niching in the very beginning, it's so important because you're trying to wedge your way into a very crowded industry, a very competitive industry and slowly expand it. If you're trying to, to separate two big pieces of wood that are like nailed together. You can't just take a giant wedge and, and go at it right away. You have to start with a very small wedge and gently tap it in and, and slowly expand it and work your way out. And then it takes, and then gradually separate them. I don't know if the illustration makes sense or not, but 